While Upfront is primarily designed as a two-player, tournament-style war game, it can be played solitaire successfully with only small modifications. Keep in mind that the solitaire rules are meant to be used when playing both sides to the best of your ability. There is no smart bot or other artificial intelligence operating the opposing side. You represent both sides of the battle. Although the game is arguably better with at least two players, the solitaire rules allow you to maintain some of the hidden information that makes Upfront a unique gaming experience. What follows are the solitaire rules as shown in the Banzai Rulebook, Section 49. All actions performed during a player turn must be pre-designated before they are resolved. The result is that all actions are considered to happen simultaneously, so you do not know the result of one action before the rest. Place both hands of cards face up on the table. Cards that are drawn from the action deck are placed face down. Do not reveal the cards until the following has taken place. The player turn is over. The opposing side has attacked. The opposing side has discarded a terrain card on one of its moving groups. Whichever happens first will reveal the cards. Because you will not know the information on the unrevealed cards until they are ready to be played, it will change the dynamic of how the game proceeds. Do you keep the cards unrevealed or play them quickly at the last minute? It's important that you play both sides to the best of your ability. This means getting the most out of the nationalities represented, using the resources available, and striving toward the victory conditions. What follows is the Solitaire Rules variant as suggested by David Hassel in his article found on the Upfront Board Game Geek section. It follows the same structure as the Solo Rules of Banzai. The opposing player's cards are not revealed when drawn, but are revealed at the end of the turn or when triggered by other conditions, such as seeking a concealment card. The difference is that each side will have a sideboard similar to the game structure of Magic the Gathering. You deal cards equally to the nationality requirements face down at the beginning of the game. Then, you add three cards face down to each side separately. This is a sideboard and it's not to be inspected. When you draw cards to refill your hand, draw them face down and turn the rest of the cards in your hand face down along with those in the sideboard. Shuffle them together and then pull out three cards to put into your sideboard. Keep the rest as part of your hand. When inspecting the opposing side's hand for a concealment card, inspect their hand, then afterwards shuffle it into their sideboard cards and deal out three to keep in the sideboard. Make sure the cards are face down. This option creates some interesting situations. For example, if you want to play two cards one at a time over two turns, then the second card might disappear into the sideboard when they are shuffled. For example, playing a movement card while having a terrain card in hand. Shuffling between turns and discovering the terrain card is gone. Although such an event can happen in real life, it can be pretty annoying to the upfront player. A solution would be to reserve a single card in your hand and then set it aside as the shuffling process commences. Return the card to the hand once you have completed your shuffle. This allows you to keep valuable terrain, fire card, or other important card for the next turn. Another side effect is that pulling three additional cards from each side may shorten the game. To overcome this, you simply shuffle and return the sideboard cards once the draw pile has been depleted at the end of the game. Of course, this variant does not work if you are playing up front on Vassal, but the variant does provide for a solution that uses dice. Playing up front solitaire may not be what the game was designed for, but it is one that can be enjoyable when you have no one else around. <laughs>